My name is Maurizio Poli and I'm a professor of uh, business analytics here at MISB Bocconi. Why business analytics uh, are so important? Business analytics are the way we squeeze out of data information. So the situation now is this. We have on one side computer science experts that are able to collect data, to store data and are giving us this opportunity. On the other side, we have uh, business uh, students and businessmen that are just uh, uh, running their business and they want to leverage on the information that we can get from data for running their business. So a business analyst should be a bridge between these two parts. Let's take the first example, Tinder. Why you go on Tinder? You go on Tinder because you want to find the matching person for you. So basically, the basis of the business of Tinder is matching to right people. And the customer satisfaction that the business model is requiring is the right match. So business analytics are the fundamental of this business because to find the right match, what they are doing, uh, are they are examining basically the data from, uh, that are uh, making the profile of the two persons. And these data are both static, that is the data of the form that you fulfill when you log in, but also dynamic, that is the number of swipes that you give, the kind of swipes that you give. And so all these data are merged and matched in order to identify your profile. And your profile is improving the more you use the app. Of course, an algorithm like that has also its downside. What they have observed in Tinder is that people tend to swipe without having a clear idea just to increase their possibilities. This is uh, just uh, uh, jeopardizing the uh, uh, algorithm in itself because it's not contributing to refining the profile of a person. If you keep on swi swiping on uh, any kind of girl from uh, uh, a girl uh, that is uh, uh, looking in one way to a girl that is looking like your mother, then in the end the algorithm is not defining who really you are looking for. A second example of uh, a very efficient and effective usage of business analytics could be Amazon. You all know that in Amazon you have a section that is called people who bought this also bought. So a kind of section of recommendation and by the way, everywhere in the website of Amazon you find recommendations that are fitting your profile. In this case, the matching is done with what? The matching is done on one side with the things that you have been buying, so your personal profile, on the other side with the profile and the things that people similar to you also bought. So basically, at each product is given a score and this score is associated with your preference and your profile. And so if you are buying, for example, a, a camera, then you can be proposed to buy a green cloth and uh, uh, you don't understand why, but in the end, uh, the uh, reason could be that this green cloth can be used as a chroma key and so has been bought by other people in order to complete the uh, set of a photographer. So the algorithm and the business analytics are doing uh, this uh, uh, upselling for Amazon. And Amazon claimed that the first year they just issued this section that their revenues just increased of 29% thanks to this approach. The third example could be Netflix. They are using business analytics, of course, for fine tuning their recommendations. So on one side, they're profiling you according to your geographical and static profile. So where are you from, which is your language uh, and so on. But then uh, they are refining uh, the choices according to your choice. So again, it's a dynamic algorithm that is going on. For example, if you choose a house of cards, uh, uh, the algorithm will understand that uh, you are uh, fond of uh, shows that are either American shows or uh, shows that are related with power. So they will propose you both the power side, so the crown, or both the American shows like Orange is the New Black. But the next choice you make, of course, will help them in refining this uh, uh, result because like in a tree, if the next step that you choose is again related to power, then of course the score of this uh, uh, preference for you will be increased. Instead, if the next step is going on the side of an American comedy, the score of the American side will be increased. 
uh, again, which is the aim of this uh, algorithm. The aim of this algorithm is to uh, increase the revenues and increase the usage for Netflix. Let's now mention the new frontier of business analytics, unstructured data. The example we have made are examples in which business analytics are used structured data, data that the company, Netflix, Tinder, uh, Amazon are storing in their uh, in their uh, databases. But now let's talk about the data that you post on the web with uh, text message, with images, with comments and likes. Uh, anytime you are asked to sign in a service using your Facebook account, basically you are matching the usage of this service with your Facebook profile, providing much more information. So the new challenge is now how to use this unstructured data to just uh, in increase the power of the algorithm that we have uh, expressed before. So in conclusion, business analytics are the instruments with which we can squeeze information out of the data. So no matter whether you are a company, you are an organization, you are a municipality, you are a government, you can dig in the data and find out all the information that will help you to improve the way you deliver your product, you deliver your service, you just uh, satisfy your customers.